Hi, today we are going to discuss the topic is how to create an object from an Excel sheet. Let's see how we can create. We have a tool called Lightning Object Creator to create an object from Excel sheet. And by with the help of this tool, not only from Excel sheet, you can create object from CSV files or my or FIPS spreadsheets or Google Sheets as well. So how we can do this? Let's see everything practically. Okay. Still now what we are doing to create a custom object, we always go to setup and click on custom Ob object manager and then we use custom object option to create a custom object, right? Now you have another option as well that is custom object from spreadsheet. So what is going to happen with this? You can create an object from Excel sheet. To create an object from Excel sheet, you have to prepare an Excel sheet or CSV file with the columns what you need. So in our case, I created one Excel sheet or CSV file with the different columns like customer email type or exterior color like this. Along with that, you have a sheet name that is vehicle interest. Okay, so how it can become a columns or fields for your object vehicle interest. This is important. That means as part of this, what we are going to do, we are going to create a vehicle interest object and creates a create different columns from our lightning object creator tool. Okay, how we can do that. And along with that, we are going to prepare a data as well. That means this tool not only creating the object and fields, it creates data also from your Excel sheet. So let's see everything practically click on custom object from spreadsheet and now it opens the object creator or lightning object creator right now i already allowed or i already gave the access to uh, this lightning object creator tool that's why it is not asking for login but if it is the first time you are trying to log in or you are trying to access this tool it will ask you uh, to log in or to provide the access Okay, it will have two options. One is login with Salesforce. Another one is login with Sandbox. If you are working with a developer edition or production, then use login with Salesforce. If you are working with Sandbox, you just use login with Sandbox option. Once you log in successfully from this tool, then it will ask you to upload spreadsheet or <coughs> CSV file like this. You have different options here. Now click on upload and select a vehicle interest. It is this uh, sheet is available in trial head also. I'm going to give you a um, reference link from where you can get this spreadsheet and even you have uh, um, resources or you have information there to do step by step as well, there as well. Okay, now if you observe here, it is having comma separated, value separated by, this is a CSV file, what we did. And here import 50 row 55 rows that means our excel sheet has 50 row 55 rows along with our uh, columns and if you observe here we have different columns in this tool automatically here import field file field names okay this is the or these are the column names or headers in our excel sheet okay customer file email type this kind of things and it becomes the salesforce field name automatically it automatically maps like this Okay, if you want to uh, rename these fields, you can rename also. And if you observe here, it is automatically uh, taking the field type as well based on the your um, text and your headers. So now if you see here, text, email, checkbox and text, text. So I want to make this as a pick list. So that means you can change the field type as well here multi pick list for exterior color and what is going to happen once you finish this so the values under type okay so you have 55 rows for example so you may have 55 values or otherwise 10 values whatever it may be it is going to consider or this tool is going to create pick list values from your data same thing applicable for multi pick list as well okay and now add two layouts okay it is going to have a layout automatically. So what it is, what it means here, if you check this checkbox, once this tool creates a field, it is going to assign it to layout automatically and field preview. So these are all the 
things okay you can see this is just a preview of your data how it looks like okay and if you this is field mappings right if you want to see uh, the data preview what you have in the excel sheet so click on this data preview icon see this is the data you are going to import so what we what this tool is uh, providing you this provides not only creating the object with the fields it provides you the provision to upload data from your excel sheet okay in the single step okay see here next and here you have object name say object properties object name from where it is taking from your excel sheet name or your csv file name okay i'm just removing underscores okay that means what i am trying to say here you can change the object name if you don't like it okay maybe sometimes you your file may have different name right so you can create or you can rename here for your object and you can see here different options so while creating object from the object manager also you have these options on the first screen right to allow search allow reports allow activities allow notes and release uh, related list and add files related list to default page layout these are all the options it provides as well okay finish i am clicking on finish button now what this is going to create it is going to create create object see here it is creating object and it is updating label i mean layout and it is updating or creating the tab as well and it is updating profile as well profile means it is going to give the access to this object for our profile and it is importing rows now done if you observe here object created that is vehicle interest and seven fields created and seven fields detected and rows detected from our files is 55 rows and 55 rows imported successfully okay if you want to import another object from the excel sheet then you can use this import another object otherwise you can close this tool now let's see uh, whether this creates our object or not and then we can see the data okay and we can see the we can add that uh, tab to one of the, our application and we can see data let's see i'm closing this tool and now just reload this let's check for vehicle see vehicle interest already created and let's go through the fields see these are all the fields created from our excel sheet and if you open type pick list and it is already adding or it's already added all the values from your excel sheet okay as pick list values and now let's see whether we have tab as tab or not okay this tool created tab as well see vehicle interest tab also there now what we are going to do let's add this tab into our application app manager and we can select any app let's select our demo apps if we have that yeah see my demo application edit so what i am trying to do here i am just trying to add our tab to application nothing else see here navigation items and you can search for this vehicle see it is already there so i just moved here and moving this after students okay and if you don't see this vehicle under the available items you just click on this refresh icon it automatically gets it save now let's go back
my demo application click on my demo application from your app launcher and now mm -hmm. okay so see this is the vehicle interest click on this and all records now you can see all the records added from our csv file so this is very good useful tool when you have lot of data on your spreadsheet or excel sheet already uh, and you want to create an object for that in the salesforce instance then this is the very good tool to do that because it gives you the option to create object and not only creating the object and fields it gives you to it gives you the option to import the data as well okay so in that way you can avoid uh, creating the data from data loader again so what we can what we uh, how to understand here when you have the scenario that you have a excel sheet already and you need to import that data to salesforce but you don't have object also for that uh, structure then you can use this tool to create an object and fields okay and data from your excel sheet okay this is how it will be helpful and this is how we can create an object from excel sheet okay I'll give you the reference links in the video description and you can have a look once. All the best. Please subscribe to Salesforce Techbook.